captain's log in a distant of galaxy. The rebel desperately needed supply and the Enterprise D were risking a venture across the Federation's outermost boundaries to deliver strategic supplies to the Zero Zone. Captain, we've dropped warps and reached the coordinates. Very well, Mr. Deiter. Continue scanning. Captain, if I may remind you, this is in violation of our Federation regulations. Engaging with forces from another universe. Is it really worth taking such a risk? In the early of 21st century, the nuclear power Russia invaded the Ukraine. If it hadn't been for assistance from the United States for helping Ukraine to resist, the World War III might have sooner with the unimaginable consequences. Captain, are you saying that the Imperial forces are akin to Russia and the rebellion to Ukraine? When we received this mission to aid the rebellion, I knew it would be dangerous. But their courage in resisting the invasion is worthy of respect, so we de must do these flies no matter what. Captain, incoming messages. It's X-Wing. Good morning, Federation. Or should I said good night? It's good to see you. Captain Carson. God, your galaxy class is so beautiful. But first thing is first. When I say, may the force be with you. I respond, live long and prosper. Safe because of the caution. Captain, one ship coming from the warp. It's a Nebula class type B. Please allow me to introduce Nebula class B, originally serving the Imperial fleet. It was captured by the rebellion during the Galactic Civil War, transformed into a cruiser, and has since earned its reputation. Clearly, it's been through tough battles. I am General Hera, the Protector. I've heard a lot about you. I believe this is our first met. I am the captain of USS Enterprise. Captain Nebula Class Type B is preparing to receiving our supplies. But there is one more ship in our long-range scanner. Oh no! It's a Rester Cruiser, Cantwell class. Three clicks and closing. This is Imperial Patrol. Power the tractor beam. Vessels of the Cantwell class were equipped with three turret-mounted twin-heavy ion cannons with three powerful dish-shaped RT-17 repulsor tractor beam emitters. One at the bow, one at starboard, and one at port. They not only enabled the arrestor to capture and draw in other starships, but also to push them away to an ideal distance for the arrestor's ion cannons to disable the suspect ship's systems. Leave, X-Wing. You can't fight with it. Roger, X-Wing is out. We've recently heard that a vessel from another dimension dared to assist the rebellion? Foolish. Did you think you could escape the Empire's gaze? Permission to fire? Do not fire until fired upon, Mr. Data. 
Captain, their tractor beams are incredibly powerful. Our shields are depleting rapidly. We can't sustain this kind of attack for long. Set a course among them. We're almost out of time. Sir. Yes, sir. Right between Nebula B and 410 Cruiser. You come from another dimension, but this is the Empire's domain. Leave, or I will order a direct attack. A Federation ship like yours should be no match for our firepower. We'll make you to understand that! Captain, the Nebula B escort ship is into the warp. The Imperial forces are preparing to unleash their entire firepower. Taking down their shields. Get a boarding team ready. Run, shoot, or... What's he doing? Tractor force up five. Does he think he can get away? We'll need every bit of power you can get to our shields. Make it so, sir. Final warning, power down immediately or risk full consequences. As your wish. Impossible! Their ship has more mass than we expected. Brace for impact, shields up. Shields are down to 90%. Tractor beacon is failing us. Mr. Data, set a course for Earth. Maximum warp. Aye, Captain.